Welcome to Addis in Ethiopia. It's my second day here and I already had a shocking, shocking, very, very weird experience. I'm uh, almost shaking because I didn't expect that and uh, it wasn't my plan. I simply got out of the hotel and uh, I met a guy that works in the hotel and uh, he invited me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> All good. <laughs> he invited me for some cultural dance event by a university group which I was like okay it's gonna be cultural they're gonna wear cultural dresses it's gonna be in a square well I think it's gonna be an interesting vlog I'm gonna shoot this thing and he was like yeah yeah it's super nice you can also have a drink I'm like okay okay I just came from a Muslim country <laughs> I've not been drinking much lately but okay <laughs> let's see let's see what what is like and uh, well it wasn't what I expected. We are walking here in Bole, which is the richest area of this uh, city, Addis. And uh, apparently, okay. yes, apparently this one is uh, an area for uh, experts. And for maybe when they see a foreigner, they expect such, a, such things from foreigners. They expect that foreigners are interested in dancers which might be true or might not or might not be true <laughs> but uh, oh guys I'm still shocked by this experience really so practically we walked here we almost got to the main square where there is a huge roundabout and uh, just before the square it was like uh, well now we need to turn and uh, we did the turn on the alley and uh, the situation felt pretty, pretty sketchy. The moment uh, I stepped on the alley, I was like, okay, this is not an official event. Uh, this is gonna be weird. And uh, well, compared to the other streets of Bali here, this street uh, doesn't have uh, cement. Therefore, there were holes. There was water because it's rainy season, so it's raining a lot. And uh, <laughs> we got inside the street. I was thinking, what am I doing? Why am I following this guy? Hopefully, he's not bringing me in the street. Hopefully, there is a square behind the street. Hopefully, it's a real event. We got to the point where we passed behind some restaurant or some shop that sells food and we passed through a very tiny tiny corridor and uh, after this corridor there was a, a white door and the moment uh, I was about to enter the white door I thought okay this situation is too sketchy probably inside uh, there are gonna be prostitutes because that's what they do expect I think for Turo, from tourists probably and uh, especially for the kind of tourists I've seen at the airport like there were a group of uh, 30 50 year old men and uh, they were without women so I didn't expect this from Ethiopia but practically apparently there is that kind of tourism because the moment I was stepping in the door I was thinking okay it's very sketchy Probably I'm not gonna have material for a video. Probably there are gonna be inside uh, some old women, and uh, and probably they are gonna try to make me drink alcohol and stuff like this. But it wasn't what I expected. I mean, in any other situation around the world, you would expect that they would probably take your organs, they will drug you, and they will steal your money and all the other things. But there, it totally wasn't what I expected. When I went inside, uh, guys, the girls over there, I think the average age was 16. And uh, 
I'm still shocked by that moment. I still do not know how I reacted. I just said thank you, thank you, thank you. It's too weird. I need to get out. Maybe the oldest one was 18, but all the others, I still cannot believe what I've seen. It was my first time entering in such places. I traveled to over 40 countries. It never happened to me before. Just don't know it was going to be like this. Anyway, I left this place and the street was exactly like this one. At some point in the middle of the street, there is that sketchy, sketchy place. I'm sure that I do not look like the type of tourist that goes there and does such stuff, but who knows, maybe every white is considered to be a man that goes with underage girl. I'm really sorry for them. And by the way, when I left this guy, I met another guy that told me, oh, do you want to see some university dancers? No, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it in. Believe in your dreams. Ciao.